I live in San Alejo Hills. It's a master plan, family-oriented community where the moms work really hard to get their bodies back. But no matter how hard you work, there's one thing you can't change, and that's your breasts. After the ravages of pregnancy and breastfeeding, breasts may be littler, lower, or lopsided, unless you get breast implants. Now, obviously you're here for breast augmentation, and sometimes what I see is after two kids, you lose a lot of volume. Yes. Is that the I case? I some volume. I would say that two-thirds of the breast augmentations I do are moms. Uh, it's very common after children. We, in fact, the term is post-gestational atrophy of the breast. That's very common. Uh, most women get it. After the breastfeeding and they turned into these little tiny wind socks and I was just so uncomfortable whenever I'd get dressed or I'd walk by the mirror without any clothes on going to the shower and it would literally stop me in my tracks. I wore a shirt to bed every night and I would not, when I was intimate with my husband, I would not take my shirt off and I was embarrassed by it. I think I identify like a woman is sexy because of their chest. Did you ever think about it before kids? No, not really. Not really. I feel like everybody has their asset, right? When you're younger. So breasts were my asset before kids. So the only thing that I'm concerned about is that women go into this thinking that they're going to have one surgery and it's going to solve all their problems and they're going to be so happy. If you, you spend all this cash on these things, is this going to be something that we're going to be able to play with or is this going to be something that's like, you know what I mean, like you buy a boat, stick it in the garage, you never have time to use it, that's no fun, it's a big waste of cash, right? It would be fun to have a full chest again and yet I still am so caught up on the what ifs, you know, what if? the implant leaks. What if that causes me to get sick? My wife, uh, within six months of her getting hers done, we divorced. Where, yeah, so there was some concern there. You do not remember until the second you're just about going into it and you're thinking, oh no, why did I do this again? I, you know, you swear up and down, you'd never do it again. Does you know how those men go and buy fast cars? And I'm like, well, this could be my crisis. I'm going to find out why so many moms are taking extreme measures to improve their measurements, make up my own mind, and see the results of milking it. <laughs>